What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today it's going to be a super fun video. You guys may have seen some of those videos around YouTube, people showing what's on their phone, basically what they have, what they do, what they watch and everything. So today, I'm basically going to show you guys everything on my phone and like what I do and a lot of the stuff on my phone is basically stuff to get stuff behind the scenes done on this channel. But uh, before we get into the video, I want to show you guys some changes that I've made uh, to the camera that I'm currently filming with. So right now I'm on my phone and I'm going to take a look at this right here. As you can see, here's my camera that I have. It's a Canon G7X Mark II. And look at that. We finally have a micro muff. Uh, it's going to be a lot better in windy situations, especially since uh, summer's coming around the corner. Uh, we're going to be going to a lot of places where it'll be windy and stuff. Um, and now I think that it's going to be great that I have a microphone muff. And uh, it'll just make it, the audio sound a lot better. Make the videos better for you guys. And I'm going to go on this camera and I'm going to do a little test to show you guys what the audio sounds like now. So normally on a camera like this, if you didn't have a micro muff and you're outside in the wind, it'll just go like... You know, like that. But now uh, I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like this. So here we go. I'm going to blow over the microphone. You're going to hear what the difference is now. So as you saw there, it didn't completely block out the wind, but it blocked it out considerably, and you could actually just hear like the whistling noise instead of just hearing <laughs> like that. Because normally, if you were to just do it without this, uh, it would do it would just be really bad. And now it's gonna be a lot better, and the videos are gonna be a lot better. They're gonna sound a lot better. So get ready for some epic videos coming soon. But now we're gonna get into the main event of this video what is on my phone okay guys so as you can see we're on my phone now I'm gonna scoot over to right here and I'll just put my phone up right here what's on the screen and you guys will be able to see what's on the side so uh for, we're just gonna go through the apps one by one and I'm gonna explain what they are and if you don't really know so first of all we got the camera app obviously here's a little here's a little setup right here and uh, yeah, that's basically it. We got camera, and we're just gonna we got photo, all that obviously. Then we're gonna go to photos. We got all my stuff right here. Photos. You got pictures from Freedom, other stuff, and you got just a bunch of random stuff. I don't know. I have a bunch of random stuff on my phone. It's kind of dumb, but yeah, a bunch of family pictures, friend pictures, uh, pictures of parties, pictures from vacation, all sorts of stuff all sorts of pictures in my phone and now we're going to the app store you know how that works life 360 it's what my parents used to track me and my siblings and what we used to make sure to know where we are at all times so that way we can always be safe and happy and then now go to the weather slash travel you got my weather app this is basically just all the temperatures we got salina austin dallas waco like all sorts of places uh but yeah that's basically my weather app southwest airlines i travel a lot so uh, we, I have my app, so that way if I needed my ticket, I could just put my ticket on there, and that'll be good. The health app, I never use that, neither the wallet. The Google Maps, obviously you gotta have that if you, so you know where we are. Um, I won't really show my location, I, I, I'll not, just show, I just won't show that at all. But yeah, that's basically that, and then, notes, I have a bunch of stuff right here. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't show you that, I can't show you that, that's, that's future videos, you cannot, you can't see that. But that's uh, notes, so just stay tuned. I, I'm not going to show you the video ideas because that's uh, secret. It's secret projects in the works. Now, church. We got pre the Prestonwood Baptist Church app. We have the Bible app, obviously, with Claim Campus Prayer, Claim Your Campus. It's an app that we use to just like connect with people at school and go to have organized Bible studies and stuff. White noise. This is where I, this is what I used to sleep and stuff. Uh, that's the main noise that I used to sleep extreme rain pouring. It, it's really nice to have it. I've been doing this since forever. Now, this is the rig one right here. We're going to be talking about the Grand TV Studio. As you can see, I got iMovie, Eraser, InShot, Mobstash, MP3 Converter, GarageBand, Volco, YouTube Studio, Documents, and Canon Camera Connect. So we're going to go through each through one by one. iMovie and InShot. iMovie, you know how iMovie works. InShot, this is what I used to edit all of my videos like for the longest time ever I used to like I edited my videos for like almost two years on that 
I still make thumbnails on InShot because it's also a photo editor. You could also make collages on there. Eraser, I just use it to make pictures for thumbnails and stuff. Moth Stash, I never really use it. You can use it to blur out faces. Um, MP3 Converter, that's where I get a bunch of my, that's where I have music and I upload it to my computer and stuff for whenever I like make videos and I need music. GarageBand, I never really use that. Vol, Vol, yeah, Voloco, or I don't know how to pronounce it, Voloco or something like that. This is where I recorded Grind Out Stop for fun fact. Uh, I had earbuds and what I do, I just have a microphone right here and I record it. And that's how I recorded Grind Out Stop basically. So just if you're wondering how I did it, I did it on my phone. YouTube Studio, I never really use that because I use my computer to do stuff like that. Documents I upload is where I upload videos from YouTube onto my phone so that way I can upload them to my computer and then I can uh, just make my videos better. Canon Camera Connect is what I use to like connect video, like transfer videos or photos to my phone from my camera that I'm filming with right now. And then that's basically it for my studio. Now utilities, calculator, I never really use that because I have a graphic calculator uh, for school that I use. Calendar, that's important. Calendar, because you always got to know what day it is. Right now, it's February 22nd. Let me see what the next holiday is. Uh, that's just a bunch of random stuff. Now, this right here, March 21st. What's that I see? Graham's birthday. We are, like, less than a... Actually, yeah, it's less than a month away. So, I'm super excited. I'm turning 14. But that is the calendar app. The clock I use for my alarms and stuff. Uh, I have to wake up at 6 o'clock every day because I have athletics in the morning and then find my blah blah blah. I don't know. That's, I never use that. Compass. It's just random. Voice memos. I never really use that. I'll probably use it in the future for some videos. Sports. I have Huddle, Football Friday, Fox Sports Go, ESPN, CBS Sports, Max Preps, and Press. Huddle is what you, we use for film and football and stuff. That's where we watch our film. You can make highlight reels and stuff in Huddle. It's really cool. Here's what Huddle looks like. Hold up. I may have to... Oh, never mind. We're not going to do that. Football Friday. That's Fox, it's Fox Sports Southwest. For high school football in Texas, it's a huge deal. And that's where I like watch, see like all the scores and stuff for games. And you can make picks on there. And it's really good. It's a really good app. Fox Sports Go. That's basically like Fox's uh, streaming app for sports. I can watch Rangers games on here. I can watch Mavs games, Stars games. Just any games that I want to watch, I can watch on there. ESPN, I've got all sorts of stuff. I've got, like, sports. I've got all my favorite teams right here, as you can see. Ooh, the Rangers play today. Let's go. Um, we got Baylor, Cowboys, uh, Rangers, Renegades, and the Mavericks, NCAA football, NFL, and MLB. Those are, like, my favorites. Um, CBS Sports, I don't really use that often. I use it for some stuff. Like, if I want to watch, like, an SEC game during the week, I can always watch that, and like if Baylor plays a game against like a Ameri like a Conference USA team, where they tend to have uh, CBS games, I'll use that. Uh, there's some stuff going on there. Max Preps, it's an it's kind of like uh, Football Friday, but you can use it for like every single team. Uh, I got oh gosh, it's our rival. We won't talk about that. It's Argo. Press Sports is where you can upload your highlights and stuff, and uh, we got a bunch of highlights from my friends Knox. Let me watch this highlight. Oh, hold up. It's going to take a minute. Here we go. Let's get that. Oh, nice form, nice form, Knox. And money. Booyah. Knox coming in clutch with a nice throw. That's sports. For mind is what I use for school. I get texts and stuff and notifications. I have different groups. 8th uh, grade advanced reading, 8th grade science, beta club, uh, first, first bath of student ministry, junior high athletics, and Mr. Rip's class, and just all sorts of stuff. I have all the announcements from school and stuff, so that's what I mainly what I use for school. Now, video and movies. This right here, you already know what it is. It's YouTube. Let me go, hey, by the way, let me show you guys who I'm subscribed to, because I'm I'm pretty sure you guys probably wanted to know that. Here, so here's all my subscriptions: Ireland Boys Productions, Ireland Boys, Zach Campbell, Giraffe Neck Mark, More J Stew, Oversimplified, Kendall Gray, Seed and Sword, Dad Vlogs, SG One Sports, Big Twelve Football. Dude Perfect, Baylor Athletics, NCK, Big 12 Conference, Fish Slayer TV, that's my brother, Zeddy Wolf, Shark Puppet, J2 Studios, Bradley and Marissa, Kenny and Presley, Blake Ernest, hey, we might be uh, collabing soon, so you guys stay tuned for that, Slayer Vlogs, uh, that's a channel that I made for football and stuff, SG1 Sports, Ryan Ashley, The Mystery Planet, I don't know who that guy is, but I, I just subscribed to him anyway, uh, I'm Dot Cheese and Caden Berg, so those are all my subscriptions. 
basically here's all the videos that I like to watch this is where I spend most of my time a lot of the time I use I just love watching YouTube that's basically what I do I don't really play video games or anything like that so I just watch YouTube now Disney Plus you already know you gotta have Disney Plus I mean who doesn't have Disney Plus these days well actually a lot of people don't have Disney Plus but still it's awesome for watching movies on the go we got some movies that I've watched I haven't watched Dumbo I don't know what that is Muppet Babies I don't that's my, my brother likes the show The Lion King you got Remember the Titans Big Hero 6 Toy Story all like every single Disney movie ever made and a bunch of other movies like The Sandlot is on here whoever came up with the idea of putting The Sandlot on Disney Plus you're a true genius Smart things. I have a, we have a smart TV downstairs in our living room. We have a we have a new TV. I can basically just connect uh, my phone to the TV and I can just watch. Uh, I can like turn the volume up and down and stuff, and it's so easy. I can just do it from my phone. Geocaching. That's another fun thing I like to do sometimes. Basically, they're little boxes hidden around like in the neighborhoods or in the forest or wherever. And you have to go find them, you can sign them, and you have to take a picture, and you have to show that you found it and stuff. I've already found two geocaches. I found one at our church, and I found one with Hunter uh, near his house. But if you guys want me to do a full geocaching video, I might do that this sometime this summer. So just stay tuned for that. Right now we're going to move on to Google Apps. you got Google Chrome, Google Classroom, Google Drive, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Gmail, and Docs. Google Chrome is just another cr browser. Google Classroom is what I use to, like complete assignments and stuff for school um, a lot of my stuff that I do for school I do in Google Classroom Google Drive is where everything is stored from like a bunch of these apps right here Google Slides is where I make slide presentations and stuff usually for school Sheets is another thing that I use for school Gmail that's like all my emails and stuff like that Google Docs is another thing I use for school so that's mainly just school stuff music SoundCloud uh, SoundCloud is on here and look at this guys if you want to go listen to it, Grind Don't Stop is on SoundCloud, so you can go listen to it there. Spotify, um, here, I'll, I'll show you what I listen to on Spotify. So here's my workout playlist that I've got. I'll show you all the songs that I have. Um, it's just a bunch of, like, different songs. It's a large variety of songs for workout playlists. I got my, just my regular playlist that I might listen to, like, in the car or somewhere. There's that right there, and then... Uh, let me find my last playlist. Here's my Christian playlist of all the Christian music that I listen to. But yeah, that is my Spotify. So now we're going to move on to Instagram. I use Instagram a lot. If you haven't followed me, go follow me on Instagram, uh, graham.rylander.09. So if you haven't followed me, go follow me. I have it in the description of my videos always. You can always go follow me on Instagram. There's not a direct link, but it shows you where to go. This is Instagram stuff. Ooh, dude, perfect. Blindfolded archery battle. Ooh, Dude Perfect has a new video coming soon. That's pretty good. But yeah, basically I use that. Amazon. I just look at I just like to look around on Amazon. I see all the cool products. I mainly look at a lot of technology and stuff because I'm a nerd and I have nothing better to do. <laughs> phone calls. It's all my phone stuff. Safari, you already know, it's just looking up stuff. I usually look up like scores and stuff and like just a bunch of random stuff, like history facts. Because I am kind of a history nerd. And then I got all my texts and all my settings. So, do I have anything else? That's basically it for my phone. So, uh, I be I think that's it for the phone. So, that's basically everything that I have on my iPhone 8. And uh, it's a lot of stuff. As you could definitely tell, uh, I am a pretty busy guy. So, uh, that's basically it for my what's on my iPhone video. There are a whole bunch of other ones that you can go watch. There's like endless up to endless videos of people doing it. So uh, that was basically mine. These next couple weeks, guys, that's the reason why I didn't want to show you my notes. Because, man, these next couple weeks, you guys, they're about to get pretty crazy. So just get ready for some new videos, new ideas, and new opportunities coming these next couple weeks. Summer vacation is right around the corner. We're only a couple months away, so even more opportunities open up. And I love you guys, and until next time, bye.